this is Miss Torres, and we are going to be doing Go Math Chapter 11, Lesson 2. Okay, today for our second lesson in this chapter, we are going to be focusing on height. In our last lesson, we learned about length, and today we are going to learn about height. Two words that we will be using today are shorter and taller. So today we are going to be comparing two objects and seeing whether they are shorter than or, or taller than each other. So let's get started. First and foremost, this picture is a picture of me with electric doing a 5K fundraiser run for our school in our district. And we are going to be comparing the height of me, Ms. Torres, and electric. We are going to be talking about who is shorter? Who is taller? When you're comparing height, we are comparing someone from the bottom to the top. So who is shorter, me or electric? What do you think? Yeah, I'm definitely shorter than electric, so I'm going to move the word shorter over here. Because I am shorter than electric. But then you could also say that electric is taller than me. Let's move on. Let's take a look at the chairs. We are going to compare the heights of the two chairs. Using the words taller than, shorter than, or about the same height to describe the heights. So we are going to circle the taller chair and put an X on the shorter chair. So first I want you to look at these two chairs and point to the chair that is taller than the other one. Which one is taller? Here is our taller chair. Now I want you to point to the object that is the shorter chair. Right, this chair right here is shorter than the other chair. Okay, let's move on. This time we have cube towers and we want to make sure that the towers that we draw are taller than the towers shown. So I'm going to use my cubes, right, to build a tower that is taller than the other one. So on the first one, we see a cube tower, right? One way that we can make sure that it's taller is by counting how many cubes there are. So in the blue tower, we have one, two, and three cubes. So in order to make sure that it's taller, if we also did three cubes, would this be taller? Now it would be the same height, so we can add at least one more. So now we have four cubes. And now this cube tower that we drew is taller than the other one. Now on the next cube tower, we don't need to count if we don't have to. You can just make sure when you draw your tower that you draw your tower taller than the other one. So here's my yellow cube tower, and I'm going to make sure it is taller. Is this taller? Hmm. I don't think so. So I might have to add some more. You can make it as tall as you want as long as it is taller than the other one. Remember, we know something is taller by starting from this black line at the bottom and going all the way up and seeing which one goes higher or which one is taller than the other one. Okay, let's move on. Now we have some really tall cube towers and we are going to draw cube towers that are shorter than the cube towers shown. Okay, again, you can either count your cubes or you can just look at the tower to measure. So. I'm not going to count this time. I'm going to make sure I draw a tower that is shorter. 
Now, there are many ways that you can do this. So I could do a cube tower this high, just one, and we know that it is shorter than the other one, or you can draw another one here. And this one is also shorter than the other one. Remember, if we start at the bottom black line and go all the way up to the top, we want to make sure that this one is the taller one. Right? So these two, one and two, are shorter than the yellow cube tower that we see. Okay, let's do it with the green tower. So I'm going to, again, draw a cube tower that is shorter. So if I draw my Q tower all the way up here, is this shorter? No, it's not shorter. This is taller than the other one. We want something that is shorter. Remember, there are multiple ways of doing this. I could draw this tower. Is this tower shorter than the green tower we see right here? It is. You could also draw another one. And if I drew it all the way up here, is this one still shorter than the other tower? Yes, it is. It's still shorter than the other tower. You just need to draw a tower that is shorter. This one is barely shorter, but it's still shorter than the other tower. Remember, if you need to pause the video at any time to do this on your own or to talk about it, right, then you can do so. But we are going to move forward to our last page. Number five at the top says to color the trees that are the same height. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually circle the two trees that are the same height. So I want you to point to the two trees that are the same height. Hmm, what do you think? I'll give you some time to figure it out before I show you. Which two trees are the same height? All right, so the two trees that are the same height, right? are this tree and we can draw our line right these two trees here are the same height okay this tree in the middle is a lot taller than the other two trees the trees I circled are the same height okay at the bottom number six remember if you have a paper and pencil you may do this as well I want you to draw to show what you know about two cube towers that are the same height. So we are going to draw two towers that are the same height. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a number. One way that you can make sure they're the same height is by picking a number of cubes. I'm going to draw three cubes. One, two, three. Now, if I have three cubes in this tower and I need the other tower to be the same height, you can also make sure you have three cubes. One, two, three. And now we have two cube towers that are the same height. Now, you also don't have to count. You can also just draw a tower that is the same height by measuring. So I'm going to draw another one here, and I'm not going to tell you how many are in here. I'm drawing my first cube tower. Now I want to draw another cube tower right next to it that is the same height as this one. Now I don't know how many, but you can measure when you draw. Look, I'm going nice and slow. And I'm stopping right at the same height as my other one. You can do this as well. You can draw two cube towers 
that are the same height. And there we go. Now at home, you can find two objects such as plastic toys, stuffed animals, and have them place the objects right side by side each other to compare the heights. So you can grab two objects around your house and compare the heights. You can ask yourself, which object is taller? Which object is shorter? So you can also at home practice measuring objects by height. I hope you enjoyed this lesson 11.2 of GoMath and thanks for watching.